And I mean, you did pay attention to the chat anyway, so I was fine with it the way that it was. That was great. great. Yeah, it helped me stay a little bit because I had my notes behind it too. Anyway, I'm just I'm just very excited that you got a lot of the things. Um, yes. You know, the clear thread, the venti stitch. Yeah, right? I know. Yes. Oh. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, the lace attach. Okay, yeah, that's the, once you get it, you, you, you master it. You master it the whole time, like literally. And it only gets better. Like you're, you're like, this is done with one, one layer of thread I'm trying to hide. So this is only one. So see how thin you can get it. So when I'm working on like HD lace or I'm working on like a TV film lace, I don't need to double it up. But like for real people, like there's not even a bump. You know, it's so smooth. Oh, see, we missed a part. Oh no, that's a, it's a pleat. It's all right. Um, but it's just so like, it's smooth. So keep that in mind. You want your knots to be close together so that it is keeping it so smooth and taut. Um, it does, it does help though. Are those pleats going down or up? Um, so the wide is here, goes down to a point. Wide okay. in the no, back. I didn't know what you, I was wondering if you're folding it down though, as opposed to <laughs> inward. Um, this is a separate wig. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, this is a different wig. <laughs> so it's a, it's a bigger head. So it all depends on which way you want to lay your lace. That's really what it all depends on. So this one, I put one in the middle and I put two on each side. So it all depends. Um, and this is a different back foundation. Here, I can grab okay. the other one just so you can see how, look at it out of hand's reach. <laughs> um, so this is the one that we did. Uh, come on. Oh gosh, just gonna rip a hole in the middle of it. That was fun. So with the, the one we, oh, that's not helpful. So with the one we did, I don't have that much room. This is like almost any one you get on Amazon that has that short band around it compared to, so it has, oh, we're gonna try to let people in. And so you always make the lace come all the way down toward the front of the mold or should you have it, you know, is there a limit? Cause I noticed yours are longer. Yeah, so for ventilating, I want to keep it as long as possible. Um, I know people will cut it off and it just won't. Um, yes. I'm used to also cutting the lace down above the eyebrow so that it lays flat. And that's really what we want. We want the sides to be flat. When is that? Gotcha. Um, uh, when is the one we did due to the client? Oh, th this one. Oh, when is it due? Oh, she, mm, this one, uh, she doesn't care. <laughs> so that's why I used it. I was going to do a blonde one because I really do like to, to start with blonde, um, but I don't, uh, you wouldn't have seen it on the camera. Uh, we started doing it in the beginning of the day and it was kind of, I don't wanna say glitching, but you know how sometimes HD gets too, too intense. So, um, but if you notice this one, I, I did a little bit of lace. I did a little bit of lace for my hem compared to the whole thing to give it more structure. Yeah, same concept, two different wigs. So this one just has more of a flatter surface. This one, we, I, there, there is no ear really. It's like just, just there. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're doing it. Um, right away. Hair direction is the next thing. I'm going to the, I'm gonna mute people. And then if you have questions, I, you can, um, on, on, uh, Unmute yourself and we can keep talking. Um, so hair direction is the, the, the next one that we're doing. So make sure you stay.
stay tuned for that. And your pad out, I know I'm thinking about doing a pad out maybe the following month, but we'll we'll see. We'll see how we progress. Um, but what are what are we working on now? What are some things that I need to be be looking on? I know some people should be ventilating as I talk. I know some people are. I just want to make sure you are getting value and information from this because this is for you guys. So if you have a question you don't want to get on camera, you can type it in the chat. I will take a look. I'm, I am looking at that. Um, but yeah. Because I know everyone or everyone's working on projects. <laughs> Oh, Daniel. Hey, what's up? Hi. I just um purchased a sewing machine. Okay. And it's the Singer Heavy Duty 4423. I actually purchased it before and I broke it. So I had to get a replacement. <gasps> so now I'm taking my time. This is my first time ever sewing. Um, so I'm taking my time to really understand how it works. Mm -hmm, especially mm -hmm. with installing the bobbin because that's where I've had the hiccup before I think I jammed it and then the bobbin the bobbins the thread from the bobbin wasn't hooking onto the thread from the needle so um yeah instead of just trying to fix it I just returned it because I only had it for like a week oh <laughs> now I'm trying to learn and the, the dilemma I'm going through is with sewing with the sewing machine um, I would need to use nylon thread, but the thread that I have doesn't fit within this spot right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure out a workaround instead of having to put a little bit of nylon thread on the bob bobbin to start sewing wigs. So that's like the dilemma I'm working with now. But if you have any tips for any both beginners. Yeah, so... <laughs> sewing machine is a different ball altogether. Um, I I don't even own a sewing machine. So <laughs> so I just want to put that. I actually buy bobbins to put my thread on, but I use a screw gun now to wind my thread. So I do everything by hand. I do want to just like, like, I don't want to be like, oh, I know the sewing machine. I am not that, I'm not that wig maker. Um, I would rather go in by hand and do it. And I would sew it. Um, by hand venti stitch it so just like I did in the the laying the lace um, I get a I can get a better I can get better better tightness with it to be honest oh yeah so but they do make nylon thread on um, for the sewing machine so you might want to find the there's different um, uh, either Joanne's there's a black one and then I know they do have a clear one and it yeah. comes in the small, small one, but the bobbin. Also, let's. <laughs> I can help with that one, Daniel. Yeah. With the sewing machine. Uh, yeah. So wow. the best thing to do is to actually use like polyester thread instead of nylon, because it's just as thin and just as strong as nylon when you're doing it on the sewing machine. Okay. The best one is uh, Coates and Clark, and it'll fit on your sewing machine. You can get it at Walmart. Um, and, and then, Clark. huh? You said Sorry. Coates and Clark? Yes. Okay. And then um, as far as um, with threading the bobbin, <laughs> nylon thread gets caught in your machine really bad. Okay. So that might have been what made it mess up and tear up. Nylon thread gets caught really, really bad. Heck. Yeah, exactly. And so it starts to shred apart once it goes through the machine. Okay. So you want to use like a polyester thread. Okay. The only time I use nylon thread is when I have to use clear thread for something. And then if mm -hmm. I have to do that, I just sew it by hand. I don't use the machine. Okay. So I'm going to look for this brand of polyester. Um, Can thread. I give my and, tip also? And then, um, and then also there's a young lady. I, I don't know if she's on here with us. Her name is uh, Kiera, but uh -huh. she does like a, a, a literally a $30 Thursdays and it's a class and she'll walk you from beginning to end of learning how to use your sewing machine to, to sew a wig. She taught me. 
Yes, because I was trying to find <laughs> an affordable, like, <laughs> friendly class just so I can get the ball rolling. Like, I learned how to hand sew wigs by myself. I just learned okay. how to but it seems like the sewing machine is a whole nother it is it's another <laughs> monster i promise but if you if you um drop your do you have instagram yes okay if you drop your instagram in, in, the, the, in the chat i'll write it down and then i'll send you her information yes daniel yes lovey also um on her machine and her uh notions that came with the supplies that came with her machine there is a, a, a white, um, like a stick, like if she looks on her machine, there's a little hole that goes on, that's on top of her machine where she would put the thread to thread the machine. There's a little hole, hole up top by the bobbin, by the bobbin. Uh-huh. You see the little hole? Yeah, this hole right here. Is oh. Yeah, yeah. If you look in your notions, there's an upright piece that you stick in there so that your thread can be threaded from up top. the up position and not the I mean, the true. vertical the horizontal position. I mean, if I don't know the answer, we have people that do. Are you talking about this thing right yes. here? Yes. Right yes. 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 Okay. And then I can put my thread here. Yeah, but yep. you still can't have too big of a uh, spool of thread up. Uh, now the ones that are used for the uh, they're not really made for that particular. Your sound's going away a little bit. Yeah, I'm saying that that you can't have too big of a uh, spool of thread that goes up there as well, okay. uh, because the really big ones are for the sergers, so that it really won't work for the big one. But Gutterman also makes a good thread for sewing wigs. On the machine. Gutterman. G T E R. Yes. Yes. Got it. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Also, I just want to say if you do end up getting um us like a cone, the, the cones of thread, mm -hmm. you can always buy the spool holder. They have them on Amazon for cheap. They're not expensive at all. And it's like um a heavy base with a metal pole. So you put your um your cone on the bottom and just loop your thread on top of the um metal bar and then through your machine so it'll it'll hold that size if you wind up getting big thread. Yes. Yeah. Oh. The spool holders they're on Amazon is like a metal pole. Yeah, just um put in the search bar like um spool holder or thread holder anything like that and it'll come up. It's black on the bottom and then it's a, a metal pole. You'll know it when you see it. Okay. Also, guys, look what I got today. Can yes! Oh, yes. Hey, look at you. I was like, what is that? Because I just ordered it. Bam, it's here today. And I was having a bad day today. I came in the house like, ah. And I saw my package and I was all smiles. I was like, okay, it's not Aww. a terrible day. <laughs> yes, I can't wait to use it. It's really great. I have to say, so it is in stock, but... It is going quickly, everyone. I, yeah, I doubled up. I got two yards quick. Man, I ordered five yards. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the band that we do. Um, I use it for, for the preps. So I'll do half of it, and then I'll put a piece of lace between the two so that it can be movable for your client. Um, but once again, it's the measurement. I want everyone to really think about the custom like the bubble i want you to do the bubble i want you to keep the bubble i want the bubble uh copy um to to it's gonna save yourself in the long run so your pad out is what it is all about like i know we didn't really talk about it the other night but i can i can't uh, where's the pan um I, I want your pad out to really do all the work for you. I really want your bubble pad out to do all the work for you. Please, 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 please. If 
if there's anything that I teach you. So this is the my Amazon link for I, the plastic bags people were asking for to go over them. Um, so I put that in the in the chat. So the, the, the pad out of your block will mean more to you anytime, anytime. So your pad out can help you get a better fit. So when I was saying that, I because of our bands, all the bands on the market are too small. Why? Because they're stretching and then sewing, right? So they're stretching, so they're smaller. We want something that's going to grip the head and not put tension on it, like at all. We want it to just sit and comfortably sit. So it's just going to grab because there is the poly on the back, the stretch on the back, the sticky. It's really good, actually. I'm very... I'm happy I made a deal with the manufacturer so we can get it here. Um, so keep in mind, I think we have 30 yards left. Um, it's on your website. It is, it is up there. It is up there. And that's the one you used on the world of wigs that night, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, this is it. Um, so it's really good. It's light and you, you know, this is what we do. Um, and it's better than the Alaska band too, right? Oh, what you? You think we should only get a yard? Garbage. Um, I mean, it really depends. A yard. Um, here, I, I will show you my measurement because this is how I do it. And I think it's thirty-six inches. Yes. Yeah, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. So you could probably get three. I would say if you use your own your own method, but you can also do a bigger strip of lace. Uh huh. So I put a piece of lace in between because if you're gonna do a part, wherever the part is, um, I don't know if I have one. I, I should make one and just show you because then that part can go anywhere here. Okay. So it's it. So if on that bubble that you have, where would you kind of lay it, just based on the part? So, okay, so if we're gonna do, mm -mm -mm. ooh, getting so advanced. Okay, this is gonna come up. So what I do is because you don't want it to, to be extra small. So if this is my part, I would say here about, and then I'm gonna come around the head underneath where they're actually gonna wear it. And then to about to about there. That's what I do. And then this would be a piece of lace. So do you think that we need to stretch it at all, or is it okay? Like just you don't kind of display it. To yeah, snub. you don't want to stretch it because that's what's gonna do the suction. That's gonna pop it off. You know, like if the stocking cap is on too tight. You know how it kind of uh -huh. goes. Um, that's why there is a grip on it. So I mean, it's okay. Not like, so there is a grip on it. And if they do have short hair, it'll just go right in. It's really like. Okay. Um, Should we fold the tip uh, over if we're going to be sewing? Like if you're going to reinforce it right there at the end so it doesn't fray, like fold it? It, it, it won't fray. Okay. <laughs> this, what type of stitch do you think we should put on it? Just do like the same uh, whip stitch or? Yeah, I use a venti stitch. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Daniel, uh, also. Uh -huh. I have a question. Have you done a um, bubble, the mold, mold, and also um, in the community? In the community, have you done that? And no. have you padded it in the community have, as well? I have not done that yet. I have not done a pad out, and I have not done a bubble yet. I oh. do have the courses. They are done. They are. You can go to decoy.com under education, and I have a course of the bubble and the pad out in the same one for you. Okay. So, and that's where you can get like the real in depth how I make my bubbles, why I make my bubbles, how I copy my hairlines. Is um, that a recording? Yep, they are yeah. recording and it's a digital, uh, and you have it forever, you know? Okay, great, thank you. you. Can definitely get them. Um, Cause that's, this is, this is the foundation. Like, it'll just save your, save everything, you know, from the lace, how much lace you're using and you can map it out more. Like you can map, you can completely map out your, your bubble better because you know where everything is. And I always get the eyebrow. So keep that definitely in your brain because of this width of where the eyebrow is and where the, the temple hair starts. Because sometimes it's really close together. 
and if someone is losing hair, if they don't have hair, if their edges are gone. So keep that in mind as well too. We want to recreate that. We want to put that back in. Because she has no hairline or they have no hairline, the 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 bubble, like the 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 band that we were talking about is back too far. So that's why we're having all the ill-fittingness where sometimes the back is kind of bumpy. Um, and that's where this takes out all of, see this whoosh and how fl just, you want the flatness and that band to come back in to pull everything together. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, what do the bubble markings customer like so doesn't have one right so what you're going to do is you can either look at some videos or some pictures of them when they did have a hairline and then you're going to be in the mirror so if this was still on the client i would um obviously she has a big forehead but that's all right um and she likes it so you would draw it in um on this one she was losing most of her hair at her receding hairline. So we just filled it in. So I use a different color. So I wanna know the different colors. That's why I have the black is what they have. All right, the black is what they have. And my original, hey, is my original lines, my OG line, her hairline itself. The red is what, what she wants, what she wants, what she wishes for. The blue is what, if it had like this other wig, it had a part on the wrong side, all, so many things. So I took as much information as I could on the block, um, on my, my pad out. So make sure you, you keep that really um, strong. And please notice that this front literally, like, like you can tell her head keeps continuing from this line. So I had to pad out this front way more than our round bubble, our round block, right? Like, see, just that, just, just the, the, the her head shape is gonna get you a better fit. It's I was wondering why, yeah, why that padding was down so far. Okay. Yeah, good. it's to make sure that we have that perfect fit so that we're filling out that full bubble all the way around because you want it as smooth as possible. And that's why there's nothing here. And it goes whoop. Because all of it is in her forehead, right? And this is the way her head is made. Remember, right. everyone's head made is the same. So that's why right. if we get their bubble, it's a template. You don't even need measurements. I don't even take measurements. I had a client, right. oh, I hope she's not in here. Um, I had a client and she's like, oh, why can't I give you measurements? So I said, I'm doing a custom wig. <laughs> I do custom wigs. This is from scratch, my love. This is 90 hours. I'm gonna have your head in my lap for 90 hours. So, you know, um, okay. I made a bubble for my dollar, which is 23 circumference on a, uh, put on a 22 canvas head. Um, so big, a round face, right. But you can come in if they have a rounder face and you want to, you can, you can ventilate some hair in to soften it and give them that oval, right? Oval is the perfect face shape. So you can start coming in. Like if this was my, my client, if you, if you wanted to give her a little bit more oval, you can come in and gently touch that hairline, do some triangle techniques and just soften that hairline. Ooh, so you can make it look thinner. Drop a I have a question. Yeah. Um, so I made uh, my first bubble like uh, weeks ago, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like early on when we started the, the wine and wigs. And this is my first one and it fit fine. Like I had my hair braided straight back, how okay. I would usually okay. wear it under a wig and made the bubble and slid it off like it was kind of snug but I was able to slide it off so I was like okay it will fit with my braids under so last week I pulled this out or not even before we did the um world of world wigs, wigs. Uh -huh. yeah and I pulled it out I'm like okay I'm gonna put it on my canvas and have it padded out and be working and it wouldn't fit on the canvas and it it only fits on my head if I have all my hair down. Like right now, my hair's straight. If I have it all down, uh -huh. and then I can slide it on, and it's like a suction cup. So, so somehow I made it too small. So is that because I was pulling the tape too tight when I did it? Um. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know the tape you used. 
I used, I, before you told us about the tape you used, the clear mm -hmm. one, yeah. thin one, um, I saw a video online and the guy said he uses scotch, the scotch oh, uh -huh. tape in the, in the green box. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's like kind of frosty. Yeah, yeah. He uses that one. So I, I went and I bought a bunch of those and I'm Pull thinking like up. the tape, use them up, right? Yeah. Use those up. Don't, don't go cuckoo. But it okay. might be placement. Yeah. You know, and also you may want to, you may, yeah, it might just be placement on and your hair has to be exactly the same way. Okay. So like, it, if just you were felt, to, it felt tight. Um, well, the bubble isn't meant to go on and off. So okay. like, so once you pat out your head, it should look exactly like your head. Yeah. But you're going to have, like, if this, she this client had no hair so it was really short so if i did have hair this bump would probably look different so it might be more hair down here or it might be wider up top so when i go to pad it i should use a canvas a size down from my measurements whatever fits to be honest okay That's yeah really this easy. is like on the canvas it's like back here it doesn't even slide on to do what yours does so i'm like what am i doing wrong? well okay so i also i bash I, I bash the head on the ground to make the side oh. flatter. So I, <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I, I squish it. Like if it's too, sometimes the temples need to go in more because look yeah. at everyone. It's, we're not a light bulb. Nobody's a light bulb, no one. So, um, so I flatten out the sides and make it longer up top. Um, mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can get creative too. So, and okay. it's, it's that tension band around. That's why you want your eyebrows to really fit not. Yeah. Yeah. But then you might want to try it that way and pat it out, do your foundation and then put the foundation on because that's really what you want. Okay. But don't cut it, right? Don't cut it to you like can. Oh, you told I, Is that okay to cut it in the back and like When I stuff it, so if you get my the my pat out, I cut it here in a star and I this is how I I pat it out. So Yeah, I'm going to look into the video. Yeah. It'll just help you see a little bit more on, on yeah. you've got all the information on there. Beautiful, beautiful pad out. I think also keeping your hair perfect, like the same way, because yeah. if you had braids, it could have brought it up more. Okay. It could be like up more where now you're pushing it down. So you kind of have to like gently put it on. Okay. So, and then also what kind of foundation are you doing? Are you doing something from the whole, like, are you, trying to do an updo wig where you need it to be that perfect? No, I, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was just, this was just my first um, try at making a bubble. And I said, let me do it on myself. So I did it. And also now I'm you like, may okay. want to have someone else do it. Okay. Because I, it's really difficult to do it on yourself. Yeah. Um, so you may want to get a friend to do their bubble, like do it on them and then you yeah. do it on, um, you know, Okay. And, yeah. Um, that that would be my um, suggestion. Sorry, there's so many people trying to. Um, um, the yeah, that would be my the bubble. Please master the bubble. It may take, and it's your first time. Like, like no, no need to. Like, it's your first one. Try another one. Even try your friend. Try an aunt, cousin, someone down the street, whoever. Right. Because like, then you can also see how their hair acts. It's almost like- Yeah, I have like, I have two hair. girls, like I got daughters, but they're four. So I'm like, I don't really want to sit and make a wig for them, but I could <laughs> practice, why not, right? But, but you can practice doing a bubble so that when right. you get to a client, you know, I know four is a little, mm, that's not such a question. <laughs> she likes to put them on, but I'm like to sit there and actually make her a wig. I don't know. <laughs> right mm -hmm. but just it's the it's the technique because i start with one all the way around if you get my when i when when i do it you see i put one all the way around the tape so that's my first band that i want mm -hmm. technically if you were to measure that would be your first measurement you would do and then okay. the other one so i think you should take a look at that you know um, okay yeah and then your hand should just flip it up and make it like pop, pop right off. Worst yeah. case scenario, if you do have a nice curvature <laughs> in the back and it won't come off, 
Um, you can cut it, but just remember, you wanna put your, your line down the center that you can cut and put the two back together. Okay. I know that was a Thank lot you. Of for, a, for a pat out. Now I just was like, I, I don't know if it's okay to cut it because it, when I cut it, it one, shouldn't, to be yeah, it shouldn't be a gap in the back when I put it on the canvas because that will make it bigger. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Trial and error, I'll figure it out. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, just, yeah, and try, you might want to try clear, try the difference. I like clear better. So you may want to just get one roll of clear and see how your, how it goes. Yeah, because it's kind of hard to see my hairline through that frosty tape. Uh, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. You said it. You said it. Um, cuff the... Daniel, just uh, to let her know, if she uses that frosted tape, she just, she'll have to keep redoing the hairline or whatever you have to keep drawing it in as with each layer that you yeah. put on with the frosted tape yeah okay so just yeah, try i think i think I, I waited too late i think i did maybe like two layers and then tried to you know see where the line is i gotta do it every layer yeah so okay. you can keep bringing it to use um yeah um so i use um, U-line tape, and then I also use scotch. They do have a clear, they do make a clear in a red box. Um, so I use crystal clear from U-line, but I heard they're not union and they don't pay their people well. So I bought a lot, but it's the small stuff. <laughs> Everyone dislikes me because of it. Uh, there is a, a larger one. There's one about, this is the size, like the, the, the inch. Inch and a half. So that's like a half inch. inch versus a quarter inch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This, is, this is very small. I think it's one third technically, but you want like half. About okay. half you can get. But I have noticed in the past, you know, seven years that I've been using this tape that I've bought thousands of, I get a better smoothness on my blocks. I don't have to really rely on the heating of it up to make it really plasticized. So May take a little bit longer, may take a lot more tape, but I, this has not been in the dryer at all. And she's pretty smooth. Like you can really pull. And I think that's what the, the, the smoky stuff tape, it, you can't pull it. You can't get a real taunt. Um, so I think you should just check that out a little bit, you know. Um, cut off half of the ear and some of the forehead. So I, I like my eyebrows. Um, Tracy, just let you know, I like to keep my eyebrows and it actually, um, uh, for the fit, cause this is, this is the, here's your circle, right? So if we were going to, if we were going to put our band back in, right, this is where it technically would be, right? Technically it'd be right here, right in the middle, but we're, we're changing that. So I want to keep this band so we can keep it nice and flat. And it, because it's coming up higher, see, I love the grip. See, you can do the, oh. this will change your wig making. Just let you know and you can charge more. Um, so yeah, so I always keep that. Just That's just my own preference. I like to have more information than none, especially if they have a receding hairline um, and they are, are a little self-conscious of that. Uh, I just keep that into play. Uh, oh, her bubble. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, I, I leave, I mean, people think I'm suffocating them when I make their bubbles. And sometimes I do. And I said, do you want a good wig or do you not? So <laughs> keep that in mind. Um, are really wide. Yeah, um, you may need to smash them, smash the bubbles down. Who else had a question? Remy girls, hey. Hey, What's how are you? you? Good, how are you? Good. Okay, so finally, weeks later, I sat here patting this while you were talking. Um, I have to order your uh, lace, your front and back lace. Mm. But my question is, when do I know, like, um, okay, so this client, she has a flat head. Like you yep. were saying earlier, she has no hair, so I just kind of traced it. I put her ears back like you told me to do. Yeah. Kind of. Um, but when do I know when to stop? I mean, I know not to pat it till it's out of shape, but do I pat it till it's like puffed or? So 
like it's it's pretty it's pretty hard okay like but you don't want to you don't want to warp it okay so i you um i i stab it with my my um i, I stab things i poke things i'm just so <laughs> aggressive um my foiling comb okay i know this is like a, I, oh, fine i'll just show and then i can move it down mm, okay 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 so that that's a million dollar stab it um <laughs> and then do i add more tape because when i was doing this earlier i heard a poop and i i guess it pushed off oh. of my block a bit so do i as i'm doing this do i just add more tape to secure it because this is basically what i'm going to work from while building this wig how is it a long neck yeah i'm trying to it is that her back hairline there yeah so that really technically doesn't fit the block i know and my other twenty, like i bought another 21 and it fit kind of the same and so i remeasured this one because for some reason i wrote 21 and a half but it circumference at a 21 so i stuffed it on here because it looks like you're 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 doing a full thing on top okay because it, it should kind of fit like on on esque okay. um, here just so you can see so this is a i think like a, almost a 19 so like this would not even fit her head okay see how here is like like it's just yeah. not even gonna go on so i would either really bash this in or i would get a smaller block okay so i'm trying to think like for people who have like really petite petite little heads you know i I've, I've even shaved down a styrofoam like and i cut i cut the sides off because it needed to stay so flat to the head like her temples you can kind of see how i, I cut the temples in to make it look because you know these are like kind of weird so yeah you may want to keep that in mind um okay. i'm assuming you should have got like a 20 or even a 19 because okay. that circumference can't fit over it and that's really what you want gotcha okay because yeah you may you may either want to bash the other one <laughs> and get it like on the head okay because um, what's happening is you're not getting that that curvature in the front of the forehead okay makes you know, sense th this this the the back i i have a flat back on my my block so i understand that part it's just that front i'm a little worried about Okay. Can I see the little yeah. bit? Yeah, that seems a little flat. <laughs> yeah, like your your ears could like should be like where the ears are. Like it yeah, be so long. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, my. Oh my God. Yeah. 19. I know it seems a little scary when they're like, oh, it's a 19, but no, no, no. I need it to be able to fit on the head and I would, I'll pat it out like you. I will pat it out because even up here, like there, there's a like substantial amount. When I say there's a substantial amount to where this real block is, there is a substantial amount up top. So keep that in mind too, as you're, as you are patting it out um, to really try to get it nice and flat all the way around. That's the, the the key. That's the. So it doesn't matter what um size your block is to start. You make it fit your bubble because it fits. You know those plastic mannequins like they have in the mm -hmm. uh, beauty supply or something. You know it's like the bust in the yep. head. Uh -huh. It fits perfect on that. Like you know it's, it'll slide on with room to spare. But of course I can't use that. So another I. It could be the tape that you're using. Um, sometimes if I'm, there's another, there's two other ways to pat out a block. I use this, it's the fastest, the most efficient. The yeah. other one is to pat out a block and not use the actual bubble. And you okay, put yeah, yeah. tape and you put um, the, the paper tape on it and you go on paper tape and you go on and you keep building it out that way. And you yeah. like stab holes in it and you kind of keep building it up until it's a perfect shape. It's heavy as all get up heavy right. as all get up but i mean i can throw it and hit someone someone will die <laughs> so 
Like okay. If you get mad at it and you throw it across the room, don't throw it at glass. Um, That's good to know. A- yeah. <laughs> I, like my focus was just on the canvas head itself, but now seeing her um, canvas and then listening to what you're saying, it's like, that doesn't even matter. You just make it work for your bubble. Okay. Yeah, but you do want it to kind of fit because if you are giving it to them and they take it off, because it's supposed to live on the bubble, right? It's going to live on their bubble. Okay. So you kind of want to be like, mm, you want to give them something too junky. <laughs> so that's my, my next thing sometimes. like Because I have blocks, you know, 20 years up here. I'm like, oh, I can't give that away. I can't actually give that to someone. It's horrible. Um, so you may need to start like normal. I would say 20, 21, 22. Those should be like the ones, you know. Okay. Um, Sandra, I store my curly wigs in a bag just like the rest of them. Really? I thought maybe you had like multiple blocks or something like that that you would store them on. Um, I, I'm really bad. Okay, so I got rid of 200 wigs. I know, I know. So, oh gosh, everything's falling. So like, that's how I store them. Okay, yeah, I did notice that. So do you fold them in or do you, how do you do it with the curly ones? I was just curious because I've got so many laying around. So this and I'm trying one, to find them. Right yeah. here is curly. See how it's it's just poof, it's bigger than the Puffy. other one. Mm-hmm. And this is a curly one. So these two are curly. This one okay. over here is curly. So I just kind of tuck all the curls in really gently. Um, okay, and what kind of bag do you use? Because oh, that's a great system right there. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I got the hangers at um, Ikea. Um, the bags are from Uline. They're longer. So I, I think they're 12 by seven. Okay. I'm correct. Um, so those, because I can fit like a, like a long, like long hair and long hair. curly ones. Um, I have a lot of curlier ones over here too that are, are pretty substantial. Um, so you can, you can definitely try those. Okay. That's perfect. Thank you. You said 12 by seven. Let me, let me find them too. Let me, let, I'll, I'll find them and I'll put it, I'll put a, a, a link in the community too, just in case. Um, Cause I. Uh, and the I hangers, they're like baby hangers or? They're pant They hangers. have clips on. They're what? They're the pant hangers. Okay, gotcha. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. Nothing is close. Normally, oh, look, here we go. Yeah, okay. Oh, here, I can, I can measure it. Ha <laughs> ha. I can give you the real info as we go right now. So this is a a 14 by 11 bag. So 14 Perfect. inches by 11, it keeps it shorter. Um, so that's how I kind of keep, I, I wash them first and let them completely air dry. Do you turn them inside out to pull it and dry? I do. Okay, that's it. Yeah. I threw my in the vegetable freezer bags. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I had. I mean, I also wash them after. Like, I also have to color them a hundred times. So, um, oh, this is this. <laughs> I was gonna do this one in the. I oh, don't ask me how. So it's just the the back of the wig. Uh-huh. So then I was gonna refront it just the top because it was gonna hang low. So maybe this will be the next one we do together in a little project. 613 colored down. Once again, the lace didn't stain. So keep that in mind. Um, do your clients send their wigs to you to be washed? Um, to be honest, no. Well, mm, what, I'm normally there when they use their wig. Like, like if I do one of my, my, my bigger clients, I'll go to the show and do their hair for them. And then because I'm renting the wig to them, to the company, to the production company, I take it home with me. Uh, but you can, you can start that service. Absolutely. I would actually suggest it, um, you know, get in a, start getting an assistant to start working how you want to work so that you can start building this, this brand that you can have, you know, that repeat client. And also then you get two wigs out of them. I'll wash one and then they have one. So you just get them in this rotation, maybe even three, like over the years, if you're maintaining them 
and you're guaranteeing that wash, <gasps> they don't even have to worry about it. Don't even have to worry about it. So that is that is a, a service in of itself. Sometimes, it, but it is going to take away from your business of building. So keep that in mind. So then, time management is going to come really, really hard when you do that. You're going to want to keep that. Um, like you're going to do washes every Thursday, or you're going to do washes every Thursday, Friday. Like how long is it going to take you to do that? You know. Um, yeah. So renting wigs. Um, I mean, that's. Uh, I've been doing it so long. Um, if someone needs a wig, I, I rent them the wig. I do a ton of generic hairlines. Uh, so it's not like our, our wefted, like, you know, how these normally come. So I would never rent one, like right off the, right off the bag from a manufacturer. So I'll either refront it with good lace so that the lace I know is definitely going to be better than anything they can afford or even look at. Um, and from there it goes by like day. So I'll do like a day rate. For TV and film, I have a different rate for them if I know them, if I don't know them. Um, so I normally make all of my wigs that I rent out a stretch back because most of the time people, who knows what hair they have and how they're going to wear their hair if they're using it two or three days in a row, if they're using it for a performance or anything like that, um, or if it's the one to get them through chemo, right? So I do a lot where... I'll shave their head. I'll give them a wig that is quasi their style, their color to get them through for that two weeks that I need to, to make their wig. Um, and then they get their real wig. They put it on. If it's so good, I mean, dang. Um, and it's their own hair. So it's but a little shorter. Or sometimes I'll add some extra hair just to fluff it up. Um, I, I am... Uh, I just have to roll out a lot of things. I do have the wig maker's guide to invoicing. And I broke down everything, how I like invoice from, you know, what my cost is, what my, um, whatever it is, whatever like your foundation is, what your lace is, and then the different levels you can go from uh, different hair types, like all the things that you would need to talk about with your client. It does go off of our, our template block because this is what you're going to show them. Then they're going to know, oh, the front. And then they're going to see the front on their invoice. Oh, I wanted a two finger front. That's the two finger front price, you know? So it breaks it down. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I wanted to get World of Wigs done. I will get this out soon so you can have it. Um, and I use, you know, QuickBooks. Uh, there is a link that you could just try it and see if you'll like it. It works really well, especially with my uh, banking because don't forget taxes. <laughs> it's a business. Don't forget we're a business. We're not charities. We do charity work once a year so we can do a write-off. <laughs> or it's a really crazy client who you are like, mm, this is charity work now. Just take that and put that in your in your um, zone of um, of um, marketing, and then your your tax person should be like, "That's that's marketing." <laughs> you know, I just saw. Um, a, a speaking of charity, I just saw an article. I think it was yesterday, mm. and it was saying how this company is called uh, Princess Something, but they make um, charity wigs to give to children. I think mm. that have cancer or that have just lost their hair. And uh, it's, I think it's based in the UK. And this girl uh, came to them because she wanted to donate her hair. I think it was a black girl. She had natural hair and she wanted to donate. And they kept telling her like, no, we can't accept your hair or, or we don't take your hair. But they, they, they switch after, you know, them uh, ma making an a issue of it. Like, you know, that's not fair or whatever. They wind up uh, teaming up with another company and they wind up being able to find a technique to where they can take um the natural uh, african-american yeah. hair i guess and make you know little afro wigs they had some that were curly too but i just thought that I'm was sorry cool. to cut you off but are you talking about the official princess trust company on instagram um, i don't know if it they was do the um the wigs for the children is it a purple logo? Yes, it's purple yeah, and pink. Yeah. They're called Official Princess Trust. Y'all go and check them out because they're actually hiring right now for oh. ventilators. 
Mm-hmm. I just saw it yesterday. Mm-hmm. They're actually hiring for ventilators and they're also hiring for a corporate manager as well. And you don't have to be in the UK to do it. So if you guys are interested, please check them out. They are on Instagram and just send them a message on their website. Official Princess Trust. Mm-hmm. Official Princess Trust. Well, I think it's Official Little Princess Trust. I just thought that was cool because you know how everybody uh, struggles to find um, whatever uh, texture to maybe match the hair if maybe they just want a U part wig or you yeah. know something like that and like now they can make it with our hair so that's cool. I'm excited. I'm gonna check them out. Um, I I have not heard of them, but we will. You know I got you, Daniel. I... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you guys, real quick, everybody that sent me their um their Instagram, Kiara's on here now. So that's who I was talking about. Oh, here she is. So, so oh, get yeah. it. There she go, y'all. Hey, that's y'all. Cool. <laughs> well, well. Kiki, I was telling them about your $30 Thursdays in the sewing oh, machine yeah. class. So. Oh, yeah. Y'all, yes. Sharika, don't believe her, guys. She says she doesn't know how to ventilate, right? She is ventilating single knots, double knots. We're doing cross knots. We're doing split knots. We're, and Ooh. she is getting it like that. <laughs> so don't believe her. Don't put my business out there like that. Hit her, up. Up. <laughs> Hit her up. Hit her up. Don't believe her. <laughs> Ooh, Liza Minerva. Uh-uh. Me? <laughs> no, no. No, no. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, where um, I can ask, what is Kara's um Instagram so I can <laughs> sign up? It is yeah. purposely stranded wigs. Next, <laughs> I will put it in the chat box for everybody. Yeah. You know, and I'll also I'll put it in the chat box, and I'll also put my cell phone number, guys. So if if you know me, Daniel knows me, Riri knows me, Miss <laughs> Tracy single. The best way to contact me and get a response is by text message. <laughs> So I would definitely send that out to you guys. Thank you. (laughs) But it's true though. I mean, we have to stick together. No one else is doing it. No one else is teaching. No one else is talking about their way, their technique, you know? So I'm, I'm really happy that we are creating this community so we can, so that was a safe space to talk business, you know? (laughs) Sorry. Okay. I'm not going to get the clump tonight. Um, Okay, questions, comments, queries, concerns. And is that a styrofoam head you're using, Remy? Yes. No, it's a 21 inch cork. Oh, girl. Yeah, you need to take that off and smash that down. (laughs) You know what it is? I'm like, I just bought this one for her and I have that one over there and I'm just like, do I want to abuse my <laughs> Yes. <sighs> okay. Remember how much abuse she gave you? Yes! Now, see, this is charity work. This is going in the books for charity see? <laughs> Write it down. Yes. Um, okay. I'll do that. And this one fits better than the other, so. All right. <laughs> yeah, that, that that makes me happier. And don't forget to make it look like it's actually her head. Okay. Right? So the eyebrows, you want those to come. That's why I every that's why I have because what happens if you put it on totally back too far? You okay. know, you have no real gauge. And like, for example, this this client, if you were to put it on a like a like you would bring this hairline down lower, right? Yeah. Because you're like, oh, it needs to be mm-mm, she got a big old forehead. We gotta make okay. sure we keep that forehead. Cause that's okay. flat, that flatness. Mm. Cause that's like, it's all about the lace laying flat right here. Okay. This is, this, this is the only part they're going to see nor care about. Okay. Right. That's it. That's yeah. all the, like, yeah. look at, I'm throwing this around. Like it's nothing. I'm so sorry. I'm really nice on my wigs. I swear. Like, it just lays flat and we're going to cut off all like, you know, you're going to cut it to here anyway. So it don't matter what this is really doing, but it just lays flat and it puts that band back in and it's not. Mm, okay. Ah, I'll take her out back. <laughs> <laughs> Cement or another good one. I live on the second or third floor. I don't even know what floor I'm on anymore. Um, the door jam inside the door jam. That's mm. really strong. Just to let you know, instead of the floor, cause my neighbor, I had to put down this soundproof, this black stuff. 
mm-hmm. $5,000 floor I had to put down because they said mm-hmm. I was too loud working one night when I did like 50 wigs in one night. So like keep that, mm. anyway, use the door jam. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh. Any other questions, comments, queries? What projects are we working on? I need to know things. I missed the door jam example, I'm sorry. The door jam, yeah. So I use that to, to smash in the sides of my wig block instead of the floor. Gotcha. It's strong enough. Um, so I'll use this side door jam and just go bam, bam, bam. Um, that's the that's the real name of the game to get that nice and flat. Because look at it. Well, not everyone, but most sides of the face are flat. And then what happens is the fat will make our cheeks go big uh, or sag. Uh, so you want this as tight as possible. Most of the time, the wig block won't fit because you can't get it over the temples. So keep that in mind. I have a question, Danielle. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so let me turn my camera on so you can see. So remember I was telling you about that new, um, the wig, the 613 blonde one that I'm doing, the full lace for the ghost ventilating positions. Mm. And I decided to use, um, let me see. I decided to use the pre-made cap, okay. like the ones, so the way I don't have to like use, you know, do too much, but uh-huh. like on top of the, the stretch this band. band here. Yeah. Do you do filler knots on top of this? Yeah. Okay, great. I just wanted to make sure because I had started doing the filler knots here. You may even want to do double knots on it just because that's where they're going to be pulling and pulling because that okay. band is going to like rub it, that friction. Yeah. So, so I was doing wanna... the double knots in here. But like right, just this little section here, I was doing the single knots yep, just in case they wanted to pull it up or something. Yeah. But, okay, yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. Gracias. Yes. No, you got that. Um, there was another one. I forgot who else made. They had a pre-made one. Um, who was I talking to? Um, gorgeous. Like they have different, but they're just a little expensive for my taste thing. Like over $100 for a foundation, I get a little... Mm, I know you definitely, he is like, oh no, hundred dollars? Yeah, no. Well, I mean, these caps, these I get my pre-made caps from Amazon for six ninety nine. I can't with you all. Yeah, and they come in different sizes. They also come in different colors and everything. So it hurts. I'm sorry, Daniel. I, you know what, Daniel? I'll send you the information. <laughs> so you my heart the- hurts sometimes. I. I got- you know, I'm the hack queen outside of wig hacking. I, I got mean. all the, all the little, the favors. So. Oh my God. Yeah. And I, I love using these because it's already shaped. It's no, some of the pre-made caps come with the stretch in the top. Uh-huh. This is no stretch. It's all lace. See? So there's no I, stretch. I, 699? So it, yep. 699. I can't. I had and, my manufacturer make them. $55. No, sir. I got you. Um, I'm as, as a matter of fact, I'm going to take a picture of it and I'll just put it in the chat so Rub it everybody in. will know. <laughs> Rub it in. Rub it in. <laughs> okay. Thanks oh so much, God. Daniel. Yeah. Any more questions, comments, queries, concerns? All these projects, I'm very proud of all these projects I'm seeing. I'm not even going to lie to you. Everyone, make sure you go into... So we got community. If you are not, I know most of you are. I just want to, you know, make sure that we are all on the same page. Um, and all the info, because, and you can ask me anything. Don't forget, no one has asked me anything lately. You all can. You're in there. I love doing cute little videos. I've been cleaning my studio, so we have more room. I'm throwing out wigs. Um, oh, guys, I should have done that a long time ago. But yeah, so make sure you check that out. Um, also, the, the site is stocked. We'll have laces, laces on its way. Laces on its way. We did a beautiful order. Um, so keep that in mind too. If you need front lace and foundation lace, I'm not selling the HD lace. Remember, if I don't like it, you're going to hate it. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. I love, I, as you can tell. Yes. Do you, um, you only sell the actual lace or do you sell the lace with hair already on it? Like, oh no, hair. lace, just lace. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I just sell the lace. 
Um, I mean, if you need, a fa I mean, we have 24 people in here that are probably making wigs as we speak. <laughs> yeah, because I'm looking I'm installing one as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah, no, um, we're the, 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 mm, yeah, I have the lace. Um, I have the good lace. It does not stain. Um, it's what I use on every show and every celebrity I've ever worked on. These are the laces. Um, so I actually have that for now. What happened? What kind of like types of lace are they? Like yeah. So let's go over the different laces. Yay. <laughs> All right. So first and foremost, you know, I know, we all know this lace, right? This is what we're used to. This is what we get. This is the, the manufactured lace. Um, so now here is my foundation lace. Just so you can see, that's my, I'll bring it closer. There you go. My foundation lace. And then here is my, I know Sheila's bought me all, out almost all the time. Here's my front lace. All right, just so you can compare the two. So the back, so this is where I'll use in the back. I'll do a I'll do a double fold of it normally at the found at the foundation at the nape around the hairline if it's not an updo wig. Um, but yeah, right. Um, and then this is for hairlines for parts. Um, I know I am. Mm, so these are the two laces that I sell on on the on the interwebs. Um, and then I'll just, I'm going to just throw this in front of you and be like, ooh, this is my HD lace. <laughs> um, just so you can tell, like, it's already fraying, which I love. I love, uh, where did it go? And then here's the foundation lace, just so you can see that again. And then here's my, my, my front lace. Do, do, do. So those are the, this one you can't buy, so I'm not even going to show it to you, but these are the two. Um, if you do get a ventilating kit from me, you know it's a little bit stretchier. I don't give you this lace for learning ventilating because you will yell at me. Um, because it takes a minute. You want to you wanna get the pull. You want the tension correct. Uh, so if you were to get this lace, it could break. It could snag. Um, so I give you a, a stretch lace in the kit. And also those first knots are not sellable. I hope, I wish all your first knots were sellable, but you know, not right out the gate. So keep that in mind. Um, so those are my laces. Any questions on those? Does those make sense? Is that, is that helpful? Very helpful, thank you. Yeah, these are my favorites uh, and they're my go-tos. There's so many, like Bossy has so many laces that it is almost overwhelming. Um, for me. They're in, they're in stock, right, Daniel? Because I need the front and back. Yes. Okay, I'll go over there now. Thank you. We, we are we are fully stocked and loaded. Um, they, they're, they're, they're here. They are just getting to my apartment door. I've been watching it all day. They're here. They're in the U.S. I'm, uh, um, uh, are you going to be adding the black holders anytime soon? The black holders, okay. I was I I remember I was talking to you and Phoebe and I ordered from Friends Beauty over in California. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. That was like three weeks ago. Right. Still haven't gotten it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And, um. Okay. Yes, they are listed on the the. Um. I will. I will talk to my supplier. Okay. And see what I can do. I have the the metal ones in stock. I have one blue one in stock. Um, the black ones are, are a, a treasure. <laughs> I love them. And they're so much easier to bling out. And, 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 and then I have a smaller hand, so it fits better in my the hand. hand so dainty. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say that the handle on that is real cute. <laughs> right. You can go ahead and message me, honey. These are special <laughs> products that PSW sells. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, yeah, we will, we will, I, I will look into them 
and see if we have Please them. and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would prefer to pay you and know that it's here and that I will get it a lot sooner than to pay like you know because even on what's that other I think on not Atlee or Busty but it's another site theirs are like $12 just for the handle mm-hmm. but wig departments is $4 just for the handle but then it's $13 in shipping shipping <laughs> for one for for one something thirteen dollars daniel i mean i'm i know i shipping is bad i'm not even alive yeah. as a business owner shipping is really bad so keep that in mind like like if you can i don't want to say bulk orders but if you can like get a couple things from one place and to cut down on that shipping you know especially if it's a flat rate i mean babe you got to do it you know yeah well that's why i'm trying to get you to go ahead and get the handle so i can do a bulk order of those from you with a flat shipping rate see me up. oh my god <laughs> all right so make sure if you are not in the community you're in there we're talking and you're posting your wig wins i hope everyone is ventilating at least an hour a night not just making wigs make sure you're ventilating an hour a night so that you are getting faster, stronger, and getting a better knot. Okay, so keep, I want, I want the knot small, because, oh, this was something that came up, um, you know, but I don't, um, you should not have to bleach a ventilated piece, a handmade ventilated piece. You should not be bleaching. You shouldn't have to bleach the knots. You shouldn't have to be, no. Even staining the lace in my book is not a thing. Not like, no. So. I agree. What? Who's Henry? Look at me, everyone. <laughs> I, all the husbands know me. Who's this boy you're talking to? That'd be me. Um, so keep, keep that in mind. Your knot should be so small. And this process, you should not be making knots that, that, you know, our manufacturers are making. So keep that in mind, you know, uh, ventilated to get density. So it really depends on the density and what you want to do. Um, so like if you're, if you're coming into your wig and how much room do you have? How much room do you have to lay that down? Right? So if I only have a little bit of room, I need to do some, I want to say bigger knots, some bigger knots in the back so if it's a two finger front, that first finger, I normally do with big filler knots that have like three to four hairs to it all the way around to soften that up. And then that front finger all the way around, that's where I'm doing my single knots in the triangle technique to soften it up and knowing which way you're going. Does that answer the question, Colleen? Yes, it does. Thank you. You know, like it's that, uh, it's also, um, how does it look? How does it feel? How does it, it's more look in my book. Like how, how does it look? Do you want, and what's their hairline? What are we copying? And when you make your bubble, please, I know a lot of people like to do the line. They just do this line and they think that like they get it. When I do my ticks, like when I do my, my tick marks, it's actually a hair. Like these are actually hairs. Like this, this indentation right here is actually their hair. So keep that, like this is because it should just be here. Like you could just cut that off, but these are hairs. So I wanna make it as, as closely fitting to their hairline as possible, okay? So that's why I do ticks. The lines, you could make, you, you might be too, you might make it too perfect. You might make it too symmetrical. Like if you noticed here, completely off, right? The, the tip on this side and the tip on this side, completely off. Just like ears, everyone. Ears are not straight. No one's ears are straight. Remember that. It's not straight across. So that's why we go off of our bubble because we're getting an accurate representation of their head. I know I keep, I'm, I'm bashing today with the blocks and the, the padding and the, the bubble. 
it will it'll save your butt in the end because then it's so custom especially if one you know how ears so most people cut the ear and it's all this and they're stretching and they're pushing and they're pulling and the band on top oh. so this can give you exactly what you need from hair points that's why the bubble and my consultation is more important than anything else okay so keep that Keep that in mind when you're making these because you can charge more now. That's at the end of the day, it's a more customized piece. So please, please, please do that for me. All right, last round. Questions, comments, queries, concerns. How do I access your store? Like your um where you're selling the lace. I'm on your yeah. site. I don't decoy.com and it should go under products and then it should be wig supplies where is products i see home about me education portfolio blog podcast. are you at D I think, look at the top i think it's shop. on the shop it's on yeah, the it shop. shop oh so you don't even know so you said com. <laughs> d-k-o-y-e oh okay i think i'm on your um other site Oh, you're on, you're on, you're on my my professional site. Yeah. <laughs> be like, yeah. This is this is all the the education, um, all the education stuff. Okay, of course. <laughs> all right, got it. Let me. I want everybody to everybody. The lace is showing sold out. Uh. Okay. Pause, please. We will get. I. Let me just see if it came. To be honest. It 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 should have been here yesterday to be to be complete. Also, my Keurig was supposed to be here yesterday too, and I've had no <laughs> coffee today. Everyone, this is on no coffee. Very upsetting today. Um, um hat, yeah, because also we want to make sure we don't. Um, I might be having to do bigger orders because everyone seems to be wanting the stuff. Um, two finger front back. So the back finger. You could do, um, I mean, every uh, three to four hairs per knot, like, and you can skip one or two uh, for that back finger, you know, especially in that seam between the wig that you've just laid and that new lace, you're going to need some bulk because of that manufactured lace is a little thick. So you're going to want to come in with like, you know, three to four hairs per knot and really get it, get it going. And don't forget direction. Like these are coming down and our temples are always thinner, right? Everyone's temple is a, oh gosh, uh, a little bit thinner. So you may want to soften that up a little bit in that V. So that goes for both from the back hairs to the front. So you may even want to do like more singles, maybe doubles just in the temple area to make it look more realistic. Okay, keep that in mind. I want to thank everyone um, here and make sure you check the emails that come out and um, the next wine and wigs will be here, but we have, oh my gosh, why don't I have it? We are doing, well, it's, probably going to be the 21st, the next world of wigs. It might be, it might be another day. We are not, um, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be the 21st. We have a project that is TBD right now. Am I correct? Am I, no, 17th. It might be the 17th. So sorry, wrong month. Um, but we're, we're TBDing that right now because um, we're waiting, we're waiting on a project as always. So I want to thank you all for joining tonight. Make sure you sign up. Um, I have been doing some more clubhouses and some other rooms with other people. So make sure you check those out. Um, yeah, I can't wait. So if you do have questions, join the community, jump in there and put in your question for me so that we can get you answered and you can show me like your actual project and I'll, I'll answer you there. All right, everyone. Have a great night.